brothers and sisters, welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Feast of St. John the Apostle. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship the Lord, the, the King, King of Apostles. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people the flock his shepherds. Come, let us worship, worship the Lord, the King, King of Apostles. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, Come let, let us worship the Lord, the King, King of Apostles. I said they are a people Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Please be seated. John, the apostle and evangelist, a virgin chosen by the Lord, was loved by the Lord above the others. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed, I remember you. On you, I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To the Virgin John, Christ died on the cross, and trusted his Virgin Mother. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, Bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, 
bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above forever. The disciple whom Jesus loved cried out, It is the Lord. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who through the blessed Apostle John have unlocked for us the secrets of your word, grant we pray that we may grasp with proper understanding what he has so marvelously brought to our ears, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. John. Beloved, what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we looked upon and touched with our hands, concerns the word of life. For the life was made visible. We have seen it and testified to it and proclaimed to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was made visible to us. What we have seen and heard, we proclaim now to you so that you too may have fellowship with us. For our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this so that our joy may be complete. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are around him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Please stand. Hallelujah. 
We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The Feast of St. John the Apostle. Actually, he is the youngest apostle among the 12 apostles of Jesus. And he is also considered to be one of the four evangelists in the Catholic Church. And if you are going to look at the four pillars in our basilica, there you have the four evangelists. And at this side, you will find St. John. And look at his symbol. He is being symbolized by an eagle. He is an evangelist, and his symbol is an eagle. And we know fully well, ano ibig sabihin kapag agila? There is the power of vision. Nakikita niya. Sabi nga eh, transcendental. The eagle can see beyond what human being can see. And indeed, you will see that from the Gospel of John, Talagang malalim, highly theological, transcendental yung concepts. Sa simula pa lang, no? Kita nyo from the Gospel of John, from the start, he started it with the concept of using the word, with the use of the word. And how did he describe God? Jesus described this by saying, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the Word was God, and the Word became flesh. O di ba? Simula pa lang, malalim. And that is, what about John, the evangelist? Yesterday also, we celebrated another very important feast, St. Stephen. He is the first martyr in the Catholic Church. He is actually one of the seven apostles ordained by the twelve apostles. Seven deacons, rather. Isa po siya sa mga seven deacons. But if you are going to recall the story, as you have heard yesterday, he was stoned to death. He was the first martyr in the Catholic Church. And tomorrow, looking forward for another feast, the Holy Innocents. And if you are going to look at it, ano ibig sabihin nito? We just celebrated the, nat the, the solemnity of the nativity of Jesus. Then suddenly, we have these three succeeding very important feasts. The Feast of St. Stephen, St. John the Evangelist, and tomorrow, the Innocence, the Holy Innocence. The invitation is simple. 
Following their examples, we are invited to become real witnesses of our Savior. The Savior is born, and the invitation for these three succeeding feasts is for us to follow their examples, to become real witnesses of our Savior. Kaya mga kapatid, hindi po natatapos ang Pasko. Christmas is just the beginning. The beginning for us to become real witnesses that finally a Savior is born for us. And the Gospel today tells us something very, very dramatic about John the Apostle. You know, knowing John the Apostle, he is the youngest among the 12 apostles, he is actually so competitive. Gusto niyang mauna. Gusto niya yung laging nandun. Laging katabi ang Diyos. Very competitive yung personality ni St. John. But again, as I have said, I mentioned, this is a very dramatic scene about John the Apostle. You know what happened? Kita niyo, as mentioned, as narrated in the Gospel, he ran so fast. Inunahan pa niya si Simon Peter. But at the end, what happened? He stopped. He stopped. He stopped not to give up. To give up. But he stopped to give in to Simon Peter. Again, as I have said, very dramatic. Sapagat kilala po natin tong taong to. Very competitive. Bata eh. Pansin nyo, kahit nung last supper, sinong katabi niya? Andun siya, katabi, si Jesus. But at the end, on the scene of the resurrection of Jesus, very something very dramatic happened to John the Apostle. He stopped, and instead of putting himself at the limelight, he gave in to Simon Peter. And according to the commentaries, how did it start? That kind of kenosis, the change of heart of John the Apostle. It all started when he had reclined on the breast of Jesus during the Last Supper. According to the commentaries to the biblical scholars, that when he had reclined on the breast of Jesus, he had finally found the real sense of loving. That to love is not to be on the top. To love is to give in, to give in for others. And this is exactly the real spirit of Christmas. We often hear the word to give and to receive. But the real spirit of Christmas is about giving in for others. Ipapaubaya mo. Pagbabahagi sa kapwa. And take note, it's not simply about giving. If you give something without losing, I think there is something lacking. He has found that on the breast of Jesus, that He has to love people. And He has to give in to people, to the humanity. And the real sense of giving is even to the point of having nothing. And I just hope in this Christmas season, let us share. And do not simply share something extra or excess, yung tipong hindi na ginagamit. Ito pa minsan nakakalungkot eh. Madalas yung mga taong mayabang na nagbibigay, nagbabahagi sa kapwa, sa mga kapitbahay, sa mga taong walang-wala, Yung mga mayabang na sinasabing, ako po'y nagbibigay, binibigay sa selfie, nagbibigay, but then at the end, they're actually simply giving their extra. Madalas hindi pa yung mga bagay na, na hindi na magagamit. Lumang-luma na. But for us, as what John the Apostle has learned from Jesus, to love is to give something even to the point of having 
nothing. Yung magbigay ka na kahit sabihin natin wala nang matitira sa iyo. That is why John the Apostle is known to be the beloved Apostle. He is so much associated with the concept of love. And that is why he is so associated with the concept of God is love. That he even wrote it, that God so loved the world that he gave up his only son for us. Ang tunay na pag-ibig. Okay, again, my dear friends, as we celebrate the Feast of St. John the Apostle, the same thing connected with the celebration that we had yesterday, St. Stephen, who was stoned to death, giving up, every, giving up everything for God, and St. John writing everything for God, and tomorrow, the holy innocence. These are the real witnesses of a real love for God. And this is the real meaning, the real invitation of the Christmas season. To love God above all things. Na sana po, simula nitong Pasko, we begin the year 2023 having God as the most important in our own ways of loving. We all stand. John was called the beloved disciple because he was the faithful one close to the heart of Christ. Let us pray to the incarnate God revealed in his gospel, the word who is life. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be sealers in a apostolic mission entrusted to her by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may strive to conform our wills to that of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like St. John, we may have a deep knowledge of Jesus by studying the truths of our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have the courage to follow Christ to the cross and to the empty tomb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, and benefactors, for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Bishops of the Philippines, and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond Peñafort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawak, and for personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may share in St. John's gentle love for Our Lady. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May their friends let's spend a few moments of silence. With all our hearts, we offer to God all our needs, our emotions, our petitions while seeking for the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. And with all our hearts, we thank God for all the blessings we receive, especially for the blessing of the gift of life for those who are celebrating their birthdays today. Father of the Word incarnate, as we rejoice in your Son's birth, hear these prayers we make in union with the beloved disciple, our model in Christian life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify the offerings we have made, O Lord, we pray, and grant that from the banquet of this supper we may draw the hidden wisdom of eternal word, just as from this same source you revealed it to your apostle John. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For all the feasts of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore uni unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sanna, in the highest, O Sanna, in the highest, O Sanna, in the highest, O Sanna, in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Your 
for as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, so that this our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every if you graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you all. Happy feast day and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand the word was made flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory blessed be the lord the god of israel he has come to his people and set them free he has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant david through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant this was the oath he swore to our father abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life you my child shall be called the prophet of the most high for you will go before the lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our god the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory, glory to the father and to the son and, and to the holy spirit, spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen the word, the word was, was made flesh and, and lived, lived among us, us and, and we, we have seen his, his glory. glory let us pray grant we pray almighty god that the word made flesh proclaimed by blessed apostle john may through this mystery which we have celebrated ever dwell among us through christ our lord amen, amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa nitong ating banal na misa. Patuloy po nating ipanalangin ang bawat isa. Meron pa po akong nais ipaalala about St. John. Jesus has entrusted his mother to him. And John remained with Mary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ngayon naman po para sa mga religious articles, please bring out your religious articles for the blessing. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May all these rosaries, images, and candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.